You try to launch Counter-Strike 2 and it gives you an error. See Render Device Manager DirectX 11, Create Device. This application requires DX11, no valid device found. During the Counter-Strike 2 beta, there was a similar error and I already made a video tutorial how to solve this and this error has moved into the release version of Counter-Strike 2 and the solution is the same so probably I will have to repeat myself. Anyway, if you are sure that your computer is capable of running Counter-Strike 2, what you need to do is to go into Launch Options in Counter-Strike 2 Properties in Steam and delete anything that you may have in the Launch Options. So the box where you enter Launch Settings should be clear. The reason for this is that there might be some commands that transferred from the Counter-Strike Go era to Counter-Strike 2. Since there is no Counter-Strike Go now, only Counter-Strike 2, and Counter-Strike 2 is kinda an update to Counter-Strike Go. Anyway, older options from Counter-Strike Go may prevent Counter-Strike 2 from launching. Another place to look for old options is this folder in Steam user data with 730 in the name. 730 used to be a Counter-Strike Go ID number in Steam, and now it's Counter-Strike 2 ID number. Anyway, in the config folder, there are some files for the new game as well as the files for the old game. It is safe to delete all of those config files as the game will recreate them at some point and try launching the game. If nothing of that helps, you should read carefully what the error message says. It says that it cannot detect a DirectX 11 device on your PC. DirectX is an API that Windows uses to communicate to graphic cards. The current version is DirectX 12, it has been around for quite a while now, and cards partially or fully supporting DirectX 12 features exist for a few years as well. GPUs that support DirectX 12 can run games requiring DirectX 12 and all the previous ones, DirectX 11, DirectX 10, DirectX 9 and so on. But older video cards that support, for example, only DirectX 10 cannot run DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 titles. The first video card supporting DirectX 12 was released almost 10 years before Counter-Strike 2 was released. But Counter-Strike 2 doesn't need DirectX 12, it needs the previous version DirectX 11. That's what the X11 stands for. So you can play Counter-Strike 2 on a much older video card which supports DirectX 11, even if it does not support the latest DirectX 12. If it at least supports DirectX 11, it will still run Counter-Strike 2 just fine. The easiest way to learn if your particular GPU supports at least DirectX 11 is to launch a built-in Windows utility which is called DxDiag. Just use Windows Run menu, type in DxDiag and run it. The first tab that opens is System and here you may see DirectX 12. That doesn't mean nothing. This is the version of DirectX software part and Windows 10 and Windows 11 have DirectX 12 built in, at least at the moment I'm making this video. What you need to open is the second page, which is called Display. If you have multiple GPUs, for example a dual graphics laptop, you will have Display 1 and Display 2 tabs. One for the GPU integrated in your processor, and the second one is for the discrete GPU. If you have one. Many laptops come without discrete GPU. Anyway, in this display section, you may find Direct3D DDI version. This is also not relevant. What you need to look for is the feature levels string. This is the hardware capabilities of the GPU you have. And to play Counter-Strike 2, which is a DirectX 11 game, the feature levels must include at least 11.0 and or 11.1. .1. Or better yet, they should include all of them. 12, 11, 10, and all the rest. However, many older video cards, for example this 9600 GT or 9800 GT, only have DirectX 10 in the feature level. So those viewers that left comments under my previous video on the same error are trying to launch Counter-Strike 2 on, for example, NVIDIA GT220. If we open display section of DirectX diagnostic tool for this GPU, GT220, 
we can see that it only supports feature levels 10. It does not support feature levels 11, and that's why this GPU can never run Counter-Strike 2. Another user in the comments has an Intel processor with built-in integrated graphics, which is Intel HD 3000, and the same is true for this GPU. It also only has feature level 10. The next generation, HD 4000, does have support for DirectX 11. Even though Counter-Strike 2 supports at least two video APIs, DirectX and the competitive one which is called Vulkan, and you can try to launch the game by entering minus Vulkan in the launch options, however, probably to run this game with Vulkan, you will still need a DirectX 11 capable video card, since older DirectX 10 video cards only support much earlier version of OpenGL, which is the predecessor to Vulkan. You cannot download new DirectX into your GPU. It needs to have the support built in on a hardware level. So basically, to play Counter-Strike 2, you will need to upgrade your video card to something that at least supports DirectX 11, which is not even the current DirectX. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.